kind of bring it all together and see what it means for your money in the markets. Tech, obviously, under a lot of pressure this year. Just look at some of the declines that we're showing you on the screen. Apple down 23%, Microsoft 34 and Meta down 72%. This year, this year, well, your next guest says these companies are still meaningful. Maybe don't have quite the market impact, but they matter a lot. Let's talk more about it with Jason Brady of Thornburg Investment Management. Jason, good to have you back on again. I know there's people that have got to be looking at Meta and thinking, wow, down 72%, three-fourths of its value. There's got to be value here. Is there value there, or is this the classic value trap? It's a great question, Brian. I would say that what, what is happening within the dynamic of the ownership of that name happens a lot in markets, right, where a name goes from being a growth leader to becoming a value name, and that's a painful process. That's one which often overshoots from a price perspective. The real question for Meta is, what is the ROI on the spending that they're doing for the metaverse? And for investors, that's been extremely unclear. It's still very cash flow generative in its main business, and it is slowing, that growth is slowing a lot. Uh, but it's a very successful business and one where you should be willing to pay some kind of interesting multiple. But the meta question is is enormous. Yeah. I mean, are you guys looking at it? I mean, do you look at that and say, OK, valuations have come down, but their core business is going down. Like, what, how do we how do we look at this company? This is this is a 2000 2001 like wipeout. We have owned we have owned the name uh, various times in the past. What I'll say is for, for investors, there's a few notes of caution. One, just because something's down 70% doesn't mean that it's a good value. As you say, oftentimes that is the value trap. It says that the top tick actually has some informational value. And in this case, that hasn't seemed to be the case. The second piece there is really what is the forward look on the organization? We've had, we've had some really nice transformational moments uh, for Facebook that meta uh, moving to mobile, for example, when the market doubted that. Microsoft, another name that's uh, prominent in this group, has absolutely executed an organizational transformation. But these are things are really, really hard to do. And it strikes me that the one Meta is trying to do today is much more challenging. Yeah, let's go on to some of these other ones. Microsoft down 34 percent. Now, a lot of these companies got bid up during the pandemic, right? They just figured everybody's going to be working from home forever. We'll never leave our computers. So. We look at it down 34%, but it's still well higher than it was a couple of years ago. By the way, they're not the only ones like that. How do we look at a Microsoft? They're not the only ones like that, as you say. Uh, what's happened in the interim, even when you sort of take out some of the significant boosts from the pandemic, is that they've grown revenue and earnings quite nicely. So to say, like, oh, gosh, it's, you know, it's still higher than it was, well, it's, it's a pretty interesting name with great growth characteristics and a transformation of the business to more recurring earnings. I think that's a bigger picture uh, statement about this group. It's more cyclical than we thought. Alphabet's uh, an advertising giant, right? Um, it's, there are some challenges, you know, ties with China for Apple that you've detailed. But now that things are a lot cheaper, you can look at each individual business and say, hey, do I want to pay this for this? It's not like the tree is going to continue to grow the sky. Yeah. But in Microsoft's case, I think there's something really interesting there. All right, give us some opportunity, Jason. A name you are buying actively. There are so many ways for investors to balance their portfolio here, away from fixed income, which we won't even get into, which is much, much more interesting. In that context, what you're seeing is that, quote unquote, value names really start to take off and take leadership because what we're seeing is actually those names are, are interesting and still growing. AstraZeneca is a great example. Dou double digit top line. Uh, they're going to report here, honestly, it looks like a very interesting cash flow story to us. And healthcare as a sector, you know, is technology in essence. It's been should should have been at, on the top of everyone's mind over the last couple of years. And we think there's a lot of opportunity there. Jason Brady, always love having you on. Finding some opportunity. AstraZeneca.